Dave, how's it going? Hey, great, Pete. How you doing? Good to see you again. Good to see you. How's everything? It's going well. Excellent. excellent. I thought we'd meet up and talk about uh, the possibility of buying a new or used golf cart. Okay. And uh, you know, 30 some odd years ago, we used to work together in a right. golf cart business, and uh, I ended up going into real estate, and you've stayed with it all these years. Sure. So I thought maybe you could give me some pointers about the pros and cons of new versus used and gas versus electric and all yeah. of those questions that you might have as yeah. a prospective golf cart buyer. I'd be glad to, Pete. Um, right. You know, just kind of taking it from the top, tell me a little bit about what you'd like to use the cart for. Would it be for a ranch property or a lake uh, area, something like that, lake home, or is uh, it more for golf? Yeah, general purpose, actually. I have some acreage up in the mountains and there's a golf course nearby, so I thought if I could get double duty out of the cart, that would sure. make a lot of sense. So sure. maybe you could point me in the right direction regarding that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the keys to it, Pete, is uh, looking at your budget and trying to determine exactly how much money you want to spend, both in terms of the upfront purchase and your downstream costs as well. Because as you know, like buying a used car, automobile, uh, sometimes those downstream purchases like you know tires and engines and that sort of thing can get fairly expensive. So right. you want to avoid those pitfalls. Uh, typically, when you buy a brand new product, it comes with uh, two year, anywhere between two and four year warranty whereas your used equipment is typically more 90 days to a year or something in that range. So okay. uh, those are things you want to take into consideration when you make your purchase. All right, so general price point for a brand new cart versus a good used cart, what do you think the difference would be in price point? Sure, sure. Uh, the new car prices vary a little bit, as do the used car prices, but uh, just kind of looking at it from a top-down basis, um, your typical golf car is going to come in on the brand new side at about $7,000. So. Um, relative to the used cars that are typically $4,000 on down to even as low as $1,500 in some cases. Um, mm. And there may be cars out there that are even less expensive than that, but uh, you know, realizing that's your upfront costs, right. look at your downstream costs as well. Sure, okay. So gas versus electric carts, what's the big difference between an electric versus gas in terms of maintenance? that type of thing? Sure, sure. And that's a great question because a lot of folks have some preconceived notions about both vehicles. And truthfully, nowadays, the electric cars have so much power, it's really incredible. As an example, this product here is built with a 48-volt system. It's eight six-volt batteries, so they are you know, really strong, plenty of power, and now they have regen braking. Whereas back in the old days, if you were on a hilly golf course, you'd probably buy a gas-powered cart just based on the fact that you needed that power to get up the hills. Right. So everything's changed. Uh, a couple other things to think about in terms of making that purchase. Um, initially, your battery pack is going to be fairly expensive, so it, consider that a, a bit of an investment in terms of your electric golf car. In other words, if it has a brand new battery pack, that probably has an additional $800 value or something right in that range. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to find a good used card on Craigslist or something and I needed it checked out, is that a service that you provide? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. And I'd recommend you do that, whether it's our company or another reputable golf cart company out there. Uh, there are just so many pitfalls and hidden items that maybe you don't understand or you don't realize until after you've written that check and that uh, new beauty is sitting in your in your garage and then it's a little bit too late. So right. I definitely recommend, uh, unless you're really uh, knowledgeable in terms of golf cars and that sort of thing, it's probably best to have some a professional take a look at it for you. So in terms of a used cart, what are the key big ticket items that if they were, went bad or something went out on that, what are the things to look for there in that regard? Sure, sure. As I mentioned with the electric powered golf cars, the batteries are really the key component. Uh, it's the highest cost item. Mm -hmm. So you really want to get a feel for the actual age of the battery pack and how well it's been cared for. And that's uh, to a degree something that requires a bit of a crystal ball or in our case, electronic testing. We can really uh, test the battery pack to find out approximately how much life you have left in the in the batteries before you're facing a replacement. Okay. Uh, that compared to a gas-powered cart, um, gas engines are, uh, they really have more moving parts, both in terms of the engine itself, you have pistons and valves and all that sort of thing, and in addition you have two clutches and uh, those components collectively can be in the $2,000 range if uh, the engine and both clutches need to be replaced. So again, uh, buyer beware or call a qualified golf car professional to take a look at that cart for you so you know what you're getting into. Okay, so I have a place that's pretty remote and in terms of servicing the cart, 
Uh, do I have to bring it in to you folks or do you come out and service the cart locally? Sure. We do have a mobile service and uh, that's a great convenience for our customers because most folks just really don't have a vehicle that or trailer that they can load a vehicle up into mm -hmm. and bring it into us. So we do provide that mobile service capability and I think that's a, a real plus. Uh, there are some items, frankly, that uh, if you want to have a cart overhauled from bow to stern, um, that would require bringing it into the shop. But your traditional items such as, say, brake shoes, uh, brake drums, battery replacements, minor trouble, minor, minor electrical troubleshooting, things like that, we can do right there at your home or uh, business location. That's great. So what else should I think about in terms of buying a new cart? Um, Give me some pointers on that. Sure, sure. New carts predominantly are electric powered now, mm -hmm. and there are, there are several different power types available. Most folks go with a 48 volt, although there are some really powerful 36 volt systems out there nowadays. So um, your best bet is to look around the marketplace, and some folks are really concerned with a particular body style. Mm -hmm. Some folks are more concerned with, say, adding a rear seat so they can transport four people around their country club environment. Some folks actually use this for pure transportation rather than golf. Right. So there are lots of ways to uh, set that package up so it's most versatile for your specific needs. So a friend of mine told me that some golf courses now prohibit the use of gas carts. Is that true? That is true, yes. Mm -hmm. As of about 2000, uh, there were some heavy restrictions, especially here in the Northern California Bay Area. So there are a few locations where gas cars are still permitted, but right. by and large, um, those are relegated to the ranches and the uh, uh, non-golf types of applications. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else that I should consider in uh, new versus used or? You know, again, I think it largely comes down to your price point. Right. And uh, we're certainly happy to show you a wide variety of product and a wide range of pricing as well. And that way you can kind of settle down with your budget and we can talk about the honest pluses and minuses of a specific vehicle or sets of vehicles and determine exactly what it is you need and how we can hit that price point for you best. And if I decide to step up and buy a new cart, what are some of the options that you can add to a cart to trick it out? Oh gosh, there are all kinds of things available. Uh, Pete, really, I know you're, you're a paint and uh, customization kind of guy. We do custom paint work, that sort of thing. We can do custom seats where you might have uh, like a cloth type of arrangement uh, or cloth and vinyl, even leather mm -hmm. if you wanted to go that route. Right. And in addition, um, we have a great offering of uh, tires and wheels and that sort of thing. You would just be absolutely amazed. There are probably as many golf car wheels and tires available as there are for your average automobile. Wow. Um, chrome finish, uh, machine finish, black, silver, just about everything you can imagine. It's, it's out there. So uh, mm. if you want to customize your cart, call us. We're glad to help you out there. Sound systems? Stereos? Sound systems, sure. Sure, we can do All that. Right. You know, again, look at your overall needs and desires. And uh, if it's a non-golf vehicle in particular, those are applications where sound systems are real popular. So we can do the installations on those as well. Okay. Easy to do. Great. All right. All right. Well, thanks for that. I appreciate well, thanks, the Pete. tips. You're sure Good welcome. Good luck with your car purchase. Thank you.